guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here i appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on the video and giving it a watch if you haven't already please consider hitting the subscribe button and joining my youtube family also don't forget to hit the like button of this video and leave a comment down below because all of those things do help my channel grow and i appreciate it so so much today for you i have a haul from walmart and sam's club we didn't pick up too much from both stores, so I decided to combine them both because they're related to stores and they're both pretty small hauls. So let me go ahead and get started. First of all, from Walmart, I just needed some sauces and dressings and stuff. I was looking for some butter flavored cooking spray. And when I had gone to Trader Joe's and King Supers earlier in the week, I didn't find the butter flavored. I really prefer this one when I make waffles or pancakes. I don't put real butter on them, so I like this cooking spray for them. I think that it kind of gives it a little bit of that butter flavor, and so that's why I like it. And my husband said, just grab two. We'll put one up away until the other one runs out, and so that's what we did. We picked up two of those. I love Bolt House dressing. I've talked about it already on my channel. It was on closeout at My King Supers, so I was really worried that they were getting rid of it. But when I went, they still had Bolt House. They just didn't have all the flavors, including my honey mustard. So that's why I'll get to the Skinny Girl one that I decided to try. And they didn't have any Classic Ranch. They were all out. They had a tag, but they didn't have any on the shelves. So I picked up the Classic Ranch Bolt House Farm yogurt, yogurt dressing, my favorite salad dressing. You can get two to three tablespoons of this for two points. And sometimes I like to just use a little bit. I measure the gram amount to keep it at zero points or only one point, depending on how much dressing I want and how much salad I have. Um, I measure everything in grams when it comes to sauces. I tell you guys in tablespoons because that's the easiest way for it to come up. But I do measure everything on a food scale in grams to get the most for my points. But I needed some regular ranch and I haven't seen it in a while. So I was glad to find that at Walmart. They did not have the honey mustard anymore in Bolt House, at least at my King Supers. And so I, and I didn't also didn't see it at Walmart. And I have seen people talk about the skinny girl dressings. I've never tried them myself, but I decided why not because I've heard them be talked about. They are fat free and sugar free. This one is honey Dijon. And this you can have up to six tablespoons for zero points. And so that is a whole lot of dressing. That's more than I ever typically use, but it's nice to know that you can like really just do it up with that dressing and have a low amount of points with it. So I'm going to give that one a try. I know they have several other flavors, but that is the one I decided to try first. This was one of the main reasons we went to Walmart was to find this G Hughes sugar-free sauce. I was actually looking for a habanero pineapple sauce, I believe is what it is. And they were all out. There was a tag for it, but they didn't have any of that kind in stock because I saw a recipe on a person's Instagram page. Her name is WW Diana, I believe, and I will have it linked down below. And I did also talk about it in my last King Supers haul because we bought some of the ingredients in that one. Not on purpose. We bought pineapple for pizza, but um, we were able to we'll be able to use that in that recipe. Anywho, so they didn't have the habanero sauce that we were looking for, but they had this Thai chili. It was between this or Caribbean jerk, and we went with the Thai chili sauce. And so we're going to try that for that bowl. And this one you can have up to four, well, up to just under four tablespoons for zero points. And then once you hit four tables, tablespoons, it hits a point. And I think then, then you went up to like almost 10 tablespoons or something crazy like that for only one point. And so you get a whole lot of this sauce um, for very little points. And so I'm hoping that it's really good because I really like that. It is sugar-free, no high fructose corn syrup. If you care what the sweetener is, well, it says sugar, but it's just a little teeny dot. I don't know what the sweetener is. Oh, su sucralose. Sucralose is that one, the sweetener. And this skinny girl, it is, they actually have a little bit of real honey, sucralose in that one as well. So if that, if you're interested in what they sweeten with. Um, and then 
My husband picked this up, but I was really excited when I scanned it, but that's really low on points. One tablespoon is zero points, and you can have two to three tablespoons for only one point. So if you like bacon bits, these ones are really low in points. It says that it's real crumbled bacon, the applewood flavor. I typically will um, use my turkey bacon that I get from Kroger and like make my own kind of, they're a little bit bigger, I cut it up and put it in a salad, but this is a nice way to even do it for zero points if you only like a little bit for the taste. So that was a good deal. For those bowls, um, she used broccoli slaw in it. So it's broccoli slaw, rice, chicken, pineapple, and the sauce. And so we are going to give ourselves the try. And so we needed some broccoli slaw for it. And I get that at, Wal yeah, at Walmart. And it's obviously zero points because it's all vegetables. And if you use a cup of it, then you'll even get a point back. So that is awesome for that. And now the rest of everything else is from Sam's Club. We hit up the salad section. My husband loves salads. And so he picked this Asian chopped salad. Um, for that one, you can get up to a cup for five points, and that includes the salad dressing. So I'm assuming that most of the points come from the salad dressing and the toppings that come in there. So if you eat one cup, and it says that there are about three and a half servings. So if you eat just under a third of it, that would be five points on that one. This one was also the five points for one cup, and this one is the Southwest Chopped Salad. This also says about three and a half fully dressed servings per container. So if you eat just under a third of it, it would be that five points. This one looks like it has like the little wonton crunchies, the dressing. Maybe that's it that, I'm not sure, that has the points in it. I picked this one up. This one is a watermelon crunch chopped salad. And this one has a watermelon vinaigrette and roasted watermelon seeds with some feta cheese and some almonds. And this one says with dressing it was three points for the one cup. And it has about three servings per container. So three points for about a third of it. And um, when I scanned in and did like three servings, it said it was about 10 points. So I assume if I ate all of the salad dressing in there, it would be about 10 points for the whole thing. So I don't know. I've never had a watermelon vinaigrette, but it sounded good. I decided I wanted to give it a try one day for lunch. This is my favorite bread. I always give it a try. We went to Sam's before we went to Walmart because I know that Walmart has a wheat bread that are one point per slice, but we didn't know we were going to Sam's until after we left or Walmart until we left Sam's and I picked this up and it's like $4 for the two loaves at Sam's Club, which is a good deal because I think they're like almost $4 a loaf if you pick them up at King Supers. They're one point per slice, at least if you have up to two. I don't know if it gets more after two because I don't ever eat more than two slices. So I get two for two whenever I eat this bread and it's my favorite. I want it for either toast or sandwiches, stuff like that. And my son eats it too because he eats toast a lot in the mornings and he'll just eat some of that because we have plenty. I have lately been trying to make my coffee zero points because I'm doing my 75 day shindig where I'm counting absolutely everything including my coffee creamer and I decided why not try to do something different and so I've been using a lot of my sugar free vanilla syrup in my coffee because I do that and then a little bit of a premier protein instead of um, creamer and it's a zero point coffee and I have my Javi coffee that I did show in one of my previous hauls I did a review on it. And this is really good to do in a latte with that, like an iced latte. Use some of the sugar-free vanilla syrup, the coffee, some almond milk, and it's really good. And so I needed some more because I've been using it a lot. This is also really good if you do a matcha latte because I have matcha powder that I've been really enjoying. And this is good to sweeten that as well. I needed some more eggs, so I picked up the 24-pack at Sam's Club. Sometimes I get the really big one at Costco, but we didn't go to Costco, so... This one is good. It'll last me through probably the next couple weeks because we still have a little bit left over. My husband really likes these sugar-free Nature's Twist drinks. Currently, he has the strawberry lemon flavor, and we've also had the blueberry lemon flavor. I like the blueberry lemon way better than the strawberry lemon, and this is the first time we've tried just the lemonade, and we tried it, and it was the best, I think, so far. I do still like the blueberry flavor, but this one was really, really good. It wasn't too sweet like the strawberry lemonade is, 
and it was just really yummy. So this one was really good. It's zero points. Um, sweetened with sucralose is the sweetener in there, but it's zero points because it doesn't have any added sugars or anything, and everything is zero down the line except for a little bit of potassium. So those are good if you're ever looking for a sweet drink without sugar and you don't want like soda. That's why my husband likes these because they're not carbonated. So he likes those a lot. And then lastly, we picked up this big old thing of mozzarella cheese because we want to do some homemade pizzas. And I picked up the low fat cheese from Trader Joe's. But this one is three points for a quarter cup. So one way you could do it is you mix in like an eighth of a cup or a quarter cup and then you use your lower fat cheeses and then this will still melt really well. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but that's always an option when you're doing stuff with like cheese or if you just don't like low fat cheese, then you take the hit for the points. I get that too. But this was a nice big bag for the five, well, four of us because I'll be using my other cheese to make pizzas with and usually also a cheesy bread on some crust. So that is my Walmart and Sam's Club haul for you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye.